What will be the focus of George Mitchell's trip to the Middle East this week? Envoy Mitchell, I think, will be focused on two main issues. One, uh, the continued discussion over a settlement freeze, uh, a discussion that Israel and the United States has been having for the last couple of weeks over whether Israel will actually, in fact, freeze construction um, and the growth of settlements in the occupied territories. A second issue I think that they've been conducting quiet diplomacy on is the question of movement and access for uh, Palestinians. There are uh, about 600 internal checkpoints in the West Bank which actually impede economic development and commerce. And the Mitchell team has been actually quietly pressing uh, the Israelis to move forward on opening up some of these um, uh, blockades to help the Palestinian economy grow a bit. I think they'll also discuss, discuss in addition to those two issues, uh, the settlements and movement and access in the West Bank, the issue in Gaza. Uh, the Gaza Strip has essentially been sealed off, and the humanitarian crisis, I think, has been growing. And this, I think, has been a steady issue uh, of concern uh, on the part of the Obama administration. So th those are the three main things that I think Mitchell will talk about. And I hope he'll also use this as an opportunity to push uh, both Israelis and Palestinians to, uh, towards a broader strategy for, for achieving the two-state solution that President Obama has stated he, uh, he'd like to achieve. What is the Obama administration's strategy towards Israel and Palestine? Well, at this point, the Obama administration's strategy uh, has largely been focused on achieving a two-state solution uh, to the Israeli-Palestinian conflict. Uh, more so than, I think, any other president, uh, President Obama has con consistently and clearly called for this two-state solution uh, from the get-go, from the earliest days in office. Uh, now, the question is, uh, what's his strategy? I don't think he has a clear and uh, well-defined strategy just yet. He has a series of tactics and important initiatives that are aimed at boosting the Palestinian economy, trying to train up the security forces of the Palestinian Authority, uh, trying to bridge some divides between Israelis and Palestinians. But as yet, uh, we don't have um, a clearly defined strategy, in large part because, as President Obama says, it's tied to broader dynamics in the region. So the strategy, I think, five months into this new administration, still is, is a work in progress. I think they've taken some steps in the right direction, but I think it's, it's time for, for some more uh, audacious and bold moves on the part of uh, President Obama. Otherwise, we risk uh, the, the strategy getting mired in some of the key tactics, uh, some of the initiatives that I think are important, but by themselves won't lead to a two-state solution. What should the Obama administration be focusing on in the coming weeks? Well, I think one thing it needs to do is uh, unveil a broader strategy that connects the Israeli-Palestinian track with the broader efforts in the region to try to bring about a comprehensive peace. A second thing I think they really need to think about is what to do about the divisions among Palestinians. Essentially, since uh, 2006, when the Palestinians had their last election, uh, there have been bitter divisions that have plagued the Palestinian Authority. Uh, one division is between Fatah and Hamas, the two main parties out there. And essentially, um, there's no agreement on who is the legitimate leader. Uh, of the Palestinian Authority. And this is a ma major challenge. To get to a two-state solution, to get to a sustainable peace agreement, you need some sort of entity on the Palestinian side that is endowed with the you know, with the respect and has authority from its own people, and you don't have that right now. And I think the Obama administration needs to think through what its strategy is uh, if the Palestinians move forward with elections in January of 2010, which is only about six months away. Will we support those elections? Will these elections, uh, if Hamas wins these elections, will we uh, support the results of those elections? Th these are difficult questions that go well beyond the economic development in initiatives, the support for the security services in the Palestinian Authority. And I think we need a clear answer to those questions. Uh, it's a key question that needs to be answered to get to that two-state solution.